gonna break my axe. So let's go push it with that cedar. Oh, this is probably gonna be a wedge or two. Guess I'm gonna have to go to plan C. Push this one into this one and this one into that one. <laughs> uh, first thing in the morning, it's uh, 10 to six. The sun's not even hitting the top of the mountains yet. It's nice and cool up here. It's gonna be a good day. It's like we got maybe a little bit of smoke or something in the air. I don't know. It looks a little hazy. But yeah, it's gonna be another good day. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be here for today and tomorrow. I was gonna pack out today, but I was a bit delay from the other guys coming into camp. So I'm here for two more days, which is fine. Good cutting here, so. Okay, I gotta hike all the way up this ridge, over, all the way over there, to that point over there. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so I've already got on my second tank now. Yeah. And I got a whole bunch of small stuff, just some saplings, some smaller trees, some snags. Um, yeah, just sort of some clean up stuff. And I got a, a big hemlock here. It's probably the biggest one so far, this block for me. Yeah. I'm going to throw it this way here. There it is. Got a lot of limbs on the low side. It's got a slight downhill lean. And I'm going to throw it. i put a high stump right there. And then I got a little high stump. Well, oh, it's not going to do anything. Probably not anyway. And then I do have another higher stump right here for these trees that are farther up the hill. That one right there, and another one over there for these bigger cedars here. So we always got to plan ahead. Um, and I don't really have anything to hold the butt up besides that snag stump there. I'm thinking it's gonna bounce down to there. That's what I think, which will be fine. Yeah, if I could hang up on that one there and that farther high stump over there, that'll be all right. But it's, it's a pretty tall one. And a big one for a hemlock. Hopefully it goes where I'm aiming it. I should actually check my fuel first, see how much I got left. Oh, I might have enough. <laughs> a little higher. Lay it out nicely though. Yeah, that was an easy one to cut. Nice and solid too. Okay. So that one held it up. All right. That worked out all right. Yeah, I should have aimed it a little higher. Then I wouldn't have brushed that one so hard. See? Okay. aim was right there. 
So it fell down just a little bit. Should have aimed it. Should have aimed it right here. Yeah. That's all right though. No wooden makers up there, so it looks good. And easy to buck. Right on, I gotta fuel up. And then after I buck that one, I'm gonna work on this point right here. Bring this point all the way up to here. And then, I, then I can work on this face that goes along this way. The last couple days I've been working on that face there. Oh. Looks like a Widowmaker came out of that. That cedar there. Well, I fell way below the log, so wouldn't have, wouldn't have got me. <clears throat> um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna peel off this corner, and then when the sun comes around the mountain there, comes right up about there, I'll probably still be in the sun, even if I'm working this face here. That's all right though. Yeah. <sighs> okay. See you guys in the next tree.
Okay, I got about a half hour of shade left before the sun comes around that hill. Uh, so we got a real big balsam here. Really, really tall. And it's got a, a lean to the right and it's leaning downhill. I get the snag next, leaning towards this. Um, so I'm pretty sure that it's gonna go down the hill more than where I aim it. So I aimed it directly for this tree and I should grab it, should pull it down off from my aim and it should go right down into here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna land right down in there. Um, hopefully it'll stay on that stump right there. It'll slide up against that one, that's what I'm hoping, but it's gonna hit that stump hard. I might just smash it right over. We'll see.
swinging a bit. I just brushed it lately, but those branches are big, eh? So it really gets the trees swinging back and forth pretty easy. Especially when you got one big tree swiping past another big one. I laid out perfectly. Looks like it didn't smash over that little stump, so that yeah, worked out great. I guess the, most of the impact was right there. <laughs> Look at the holding wood ripped out. I like a foot of holding wood. Yeah. Okay, I'll go buck that one. Oh wait, I gotta go get the snag first. I might be able to just dump her down, we'll see. I'll try to get the slow-mo on this one. Well, that was a lot of bucking. I had to go fuel up. There was quite a bit of cutting there. I had to cut that snag. I had to cut that down. I got to drop so I could buck a, safely buck this log here. And I ended up getting her though. Yeah, I should have bucked this first, but the rules say you gotta get your snags as soon as it's safe to do so, eh? So I had to fall it, drop her down on here. Yeah. So this next one here is this, oh wait a minute, I can't remember which way. I think this balsam's leaning that way, I can't remember. I'll have to go up there and take a look at it. But if I can, I like to throw it this way. So I got a nice big opening right there, I can dump it in. I can dump it right into there. And then I can drop these two big cedars, kind of like right into here. Just drop them right into here. Yeah, and then they'll just roll down on top of this log and it'll be easy to buck. So it's going on pretty good. I'm in the sun now though. It's all right, had a good run there in the shade this morning. Okay, I'll see you guys out there. Yeah, it's got about half of the tree is slightly curved this, or leaning this way. And then the, over the years, the tree, as it grew up, tried to correct itself. The top of the tree looks like it's leaning that way. See that? Right where the sun is shining up there. From there up, it looks like the tree starts to grow and lean to the right. But looking straight up from here. If I have to, I'll just push it with the cedar. But I like to lay it out right in there. Maybe I'll take that little balsam out of there, even though it's right on the line. It's kind of, I can see it being in the way eventually. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Get that out of the way first. Then I'll start cutting this one.
I think my axe is gonna break. No. Oh. That was a mistake when I made this axe handle. It wasn't clear wood, it was just uh, like a sapling um, stem. So it's full of knots in it. Yeah. Well, learn my lesson. I'll have to make sure I get some clear wood next time. Oh, I don't know, I'll put you guys right here, I guess. We'll blow down log right here. Whoops. Okay. Just set it up. There we go. Might have to wedge it. Hopefully my axe will not break on me. Oh, if I have to, I can push it. The wedging doesn't work.
going to break my axe. And uh, that'll be some heavy, heavy wedging to get that over. So let's go push it with that cedar. Well, this is probably going to be a wedge or two. Hopefully it's not a hard one. But I do have plan C. I'm going to push it. Push this one. Into this one. And this one. Into that one. <laughs> yeah, this one. I had to angle it quite a bit up. The hill here. Yeah. We'll see how hard it is to wedge. But ideally, I'd want to lay it right into there, right? But if I do that, 
I'm gonna miss this tree. So I had to swing it a little higher up to try and hit this one. Yeah. Let's see how it goes here. <clears throat> I can feel that sitting back hard. Guess I'm going to have to go to plan C. <laughs> well, if this one gives me trouble, I do have a jack at the pad. I'll just go get the jack. And the reason I don't want to throw, I didn't originally want to throw wood this way, is because if I were to throw that balsam this way, I'd have to go below this tree and it'd go smashing down there and shooting down out of the block. Same thing with this one, right? It's just the hill wraps around behind this tree, it wraps around. So it'd, it'd probably break. It would break for sure. I could probably get a first, the, the first chunk of the wood of this tree here. It'd probably lay out right here, but it would, the uh, rest of it would just smash to pieces. And this one even more so. Okay, let's go check this one out. Oh, 
bugger. It's not leaning in my favor. Bugger. Well, I got extra wedges in my bag. I'll try wedging it first. Okay, I can feel it first though. Okay, here we go.
Oh yeah, it's really starting to break now. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go get the jack. If I have to get my spare axe, I might as well get the jack while I'm at it. Ah, bugs are driving me nuts. Arm's getting tired. Oh, I lost it. I lost that wedge. Oh well. You want to go now? Oh, it's better. Maybe I'll try cutting some more. You might get her. You just, just hold together.
This is gonna break. <laughs> this is gonna break. Pushing three trees with a broken axe. <laughs> That's why I wasn't swinging so hard because I didn't want to completely break my axe. Oh man, I'll show you. Look at that, he's split. The only thing's holding it together is that pin. Split all the way down to about here where this knot is. She split there too. And she's broken right there. My metal wedge in the front there came out. Surprised us, she's still holding together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's a relief. Oh, it's a relief. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna fuel up. And then I go tackle that cedar down there, and then that balsam, and the cedar. Whew. Have a nice day.